Hello everyone, it's Char. I like to make lifestyle inspirational and creative videos. If you're new here, you should totally consider subscribing. I'm starting this intro in vlog form because I really want to get this video up as soon as possible. In today's video, we're going to be doing a thrift flip. And that's basically when you turn your old clothes or secondhand clothes from a thrift store into something that you can actually wear. So I hope you enjoy these DIYs and I hope they give you some ideas on how to transform your clothes. So enjoy overall. I cut the sleeves and to make sure that the sleeves are evenly cut, I folded it in half and then cut the other sleeve. Once it was cut, I had to do a hemming method, which gets complicated. As you can see, the ends of the fabric when you cut it will start to fray. So if you have a sewing machine, you can hem it from there. But since I didn't, I had to do it by hand. <laughs> Or you can just use any thread really and then I started that through the needle. I inserted a knot at one end of the needle. This is like basic sewing and if you don't know how to sew, it's best to practice your sewing or if you're lazy, it's best to use fabric glue because sewing did take a while for me. I took a piece of felt fabric to show you guys how I did this. I flipped the shirt inside out and I folded the edges inwards once and then inwards again. I use a bunch of pins to secure this fold down. It's a lot easier to sew if you hold the folds down into place. While you're pinning, make sure to match the pattern. You can see how the lines are all in line. Try and sew to the edge of the fabric so that it'll be secure. When you're sewing, start off with the knot on the inside. Now when you come back up, try and leave the gap as small as possible. When you come back over, you can try and make a bigger gap. And then when you come back, make a smaller gap. What I mean by this is, as you can see, if this is the inside of the fabric, there are bigger stitches. But when you turn it around, there are smaller stitches. Ignore that first bit. I made a mistake, but you can see the second bit right there that's what you kind of want here i am showing the example this is an example of my hand hem fabric the inside of it has big stitches but the outside doesn't i did this hemming method to the sleeves and to the bottom of the fabric and here's how my cropped t-shirt turned out it kind of gives me brandy melville vibes i think it's actually super cute I did the same method, so I basically just cut the sleeves and cut the bottom of my shirt. This was after I hemmed by hand, and this was before. Here is the finished product. next shirt was a simple long sleeve shirt that I found at the back of my closet. I cut the sleeves shorter. I would have cut off the bottom, but at that time I was thinking of tucking it into outfits and all that. I didn't get to do it in time for the video, but if I had time, then I would have hemmed the sleeves using the method I showed earlier, which I will get to doing once I'm done editing this video. This t-shirt was really huge, so I really needed to crop this. I put it on and I marked where I wanted to crop it and I gave it a about, I don't know, an inch allowance. Just get an elastic. I got this from a store. Put it around your waist and you kind of want it tight, just enough so that it can stretch just like an elastic. Don't do it so loose either because elastics are made to stretch, so just know it'll stretch. Yeah. <laughs> Flip the t-shirt inside out. What we're basically doing is creating a section for the elastic to be able to thread through. So I put it at the bottom of the shirt for reference and I fabric glued like a tunnel for the elastic to be able to go through. Can I put 
just make sure to leave a small gap to be able to thread the elastic through once the glue dries. Once that was dry, I then threaded the elastic through and since the elastic is shorter than the width of the t-shirt, then it would kind of bunch up the fabric of the inside of the tunnel. Stick a bobby pin or like any kind of pin at the end of the elastic to be able to thread it through more easily. I sewed the ends of the elastic together once I threaded it all through and I glued the bit of the fabric that I didn't glue before. After letting the glue dry and turning the t-shirt inside out again, here you can see the finished product. hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please don't forget to give it a like subscribe down below and turn on post notifications you know i haven't been posting recently but along with this video i have pre-filmed two other videos so i'll try my best to get them up as soon as possible for you guys binge watch my old videos if you haven't already and i'll see you all in my next one love you guys so much Mwah. bye Yeah.